You should be waking up any minute now. Let's hope so, otherwise I'm going to jail. Oh, he'll wake up. He always does. I wonder if he's having any crazy delusional dreams. He's probably gone to the moon and back, I'd imagine. Yeah, probably even more crazier stuff than that. I hope he still has his memories when he wakes up. Barack, he's never had any of his memories since the day that I met him. Oh my God, I think he's waking up. Where, where am I? Hey, Sleeping Ugly, good to see you finally woke up. What happened? Why am I here? You had us worried sick, Joe. You've been in a coma for a week. A week? What the hell happened? It was my fault. I mistook you for a deer and shot you with a Nerf gun. I didn't realize it was you until it was too late. Are you serious? You put me in a coma because you thought I was a deer. What can I say? You make it too easy. Of course you meant to hit me. You probably thought I was a giant cheeseburger. You better keep your voice down, Joe. You wouldn't want to set off Mr. Ticking Time Bomb over here. I don't have anger management issues. I just have a low tolerance for incompetence. Sure, buddy. I'm a sure buddy you into a coma like Joe's if you keep on being a smart ass. Chill out, Barack. All right, boys, let's calm down. We're all friends here. Putting the fact that I accidentally shot Joe aside, the camping trip was pretty legendary. I would like to forget the porta potty part, personally. That's the best part? What do you mean? I think the kayak race was the best part. You left my unconscious ass to die, Barack. I could have fallen in and drowned. Well, at least I didn't shoot you. Give me a break. I told you guys like ten times that it was an accident. I know just what will cheer you bozos up. I have a surprise for you guys. Sign the contract, but don't peek. It'll ruin the surprise. What kind of surprise? A surprise that'll change our lives forever. Donald, you're not getting us into trouble, are you? Of course not, Barry. Trust me, you're going to love it. All right, that's all I needed. Now, let's get out of here. I'm dying to show you guys what I've got planned. What is all this? It's a surprise party for you, Joe. I figured since I put you in a coma, I owe you one. You're forgiven, Donald. This is great. You really outdid yourself. Thanks, Barack. I had Ben help me set things up. Let's go reunite Joe with his wife. What wife? Aren't you two a lovely couple? What the hell? Excuse me, do I know you? Joe, it's me, Jill, your wife. As if. I would never marry someone as ugly as you. Well, guess what, Joe? You did, in fact, marry me. I guess the brain surgery has your memory hazy. Ain't no way in hell. Don't worry, Jill. After a few days, he will remember all the loving memories you both had together and will come to his senses. There ain't no sense in any of that, Barack. Let's just be glad me and Barack got Joe talking again. You must be the surgeon Barack was telling me about on the way down. Your name is Ben, right? Correct, Amundo. Barack was telling me that you dropped your scalpels on my head and it helped reset my circuit or something. That's not what happened at all, but I did help with the surgery. Well, I can't thank you enough then. I don't give this dweeb too much credit now. You best be quiet, Donald. If you need brain surgery someday, this dweeb is the best surgeon assistant in the world. Obviously not. Joe doesn't seem to be all there, if you know what I mean. To be fair, he wasn't all there to begin with. Sounds like excuses to me, Ben. Sounds like you gained a few pounds since last time we met, Donald. It might look like it, but it definitely doesn't sound like it, dumbass. I don't know about that one, homie. I've been hearing your stomach growl 24-7 lately. Let's just get to the food and shut up already. You guys really know how to throw a party. All right, who's ready for some Donald Pop? I am. Joe, you just had surgery. Maybe hold off on the drinking? Relax, Barack. It's just one bottle. What harm could it do? Fine, but just one. To Joe, the toughest guy we know. Thanks, Donald. And to you guys, the best friends a guy could ask for, except for Donald. Cheers to that. Shit, it's the hippos. They remind me of Joe's mom. Where's my mom at? Nowhere, Joe. We are just admiring the hippos. Oh, my. I love the elephants. We said hippos, you senile dingus. There's no elephants here. Oh, man.